Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Truck and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty as the great old ones. Welcome back. In the last episode we had a victory over these guys with our fleet. Uh, we destroyed a 2000 fleet or at least brought it down to 6700. Um, and now they are attacking Magrotosh with their 3000 fleet. Um, and I think I'm gonna send in my ships here, and we're gonna we're gonna do a little trick. We're gonna put Dagon to the fleet, and then we're gonna send them over there because Dagon increases the sublight speed, so they should theoretically be faster at the wormhole generator. Um, and then we're gonna send Ship Nigorath over here to have a look at the debris, research that stuff, and then we have a colony ship in Rulaye. That is moving over here to Enderlang, uh, which uh, badly enough leads through the Sirius system. So that is, yeah, that's kind of a bummer, but oh well. And then I do have a couple of minerals to build more ships. Question is, should I build another cruiser in here? I do think we're gonna go ahead and start building some corvettes in Berkangi. I don't have other spaceports that I could use right now, so I'm gonna do that. Let's build three Corvettes in Bakangi. We're near the time where we can um, renew our, our trading agreements, trade away some research for minerals, and that's what we're gonna do as soon as we can. Uh, but yeah, so Wings of Cthulhu, you're idle, but you should actually go ahead and attack that first Navy cluster as soon as you can. So let's do that. And then we're gonna return to normal speed here. Station under attack. So they're moving towards the wormhole station. Uh, we're gonna open a wormhole. These guys are attacking our spaceport now. That's bad. But well. Station under attack. Station under attack. Yes, 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 I know all stations are under attack. Oh, no, what? Yeah, they are attacking that station over here. That is the colony ship, but that should just pass through. That shouldn't really do anything. Now we definitely want... Station under attack. Want them to move up. But then we want Yogg Sothoth in command and not Dagon. Because we need the regeneration. Nearly there. They haven't yet managed to do a lot of damage to the spaceport because they are using um, they're using machine guns, mass drivers, which have a very short range, so they couldn't do a lot. And now we're in the fight. I think we're a little too late to save the spaceport. Also, although never say die, right? And our trade treaties have timed out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and renew them. Yeah, have a research agreement. Give me some minerals. How many will you do? Okay, so 701 is the sweet spot. Yes, we're gonna do that. I need minerals to build ships. You, research agreement, minerals. Okay. How many will you do? Okay, 546, that's fine. The others aren't really up now. Oh, have we talked with these guys? Unfriendly, they won't trade. Um, unfriendly, they won't trade. Unfriendly, they won't trade. Okay, so that's that's a bit of a bummer. But oh well, we we'll get we we'll get to it. Uh, we definitely can do that. Now, um, yeah, we we're in here. We have a very nerve-wracking battle. So that that cruiser is gonna be built. I'm gonna queue up another one directly, and then I guess. I'm gonna build a couple more corvettes in Bakangi. Just utilize that. And I'm gonna send that corvette over here. 
that is hanging out in Bakangi. It's gonna take a while. How is it going? How are we doing? I really hope they don't manage to destroy our spaceport. If we take their fire with our fleet, now yeah, they're still firing at it. Come on, guys. Come on, we need this. We need this. I guess I'm just gonna throw that corvette in here as well. Okay, found something new. Well, I definitely approve of your species and the face tentacles. Greetings, I speak for Chief Executive Officer Gehis and the worthy elite of the Sovereign Domena Confederation. We are always looking for new trading partners and hopefully we can come to some sort of accommodation that would benefit the commerce of both our nations. Oh well. Yeah, why not? Maybe we can trade with them. Where are they? Mm. Over here looks like new things, right? No, that's not you. Over here? No. You? Yeah, you're neutral. Okay, so let's have a trade deal. And a bit of a research agreement. Okay, so you're not gonna you're not gonna trade for much. You just don't have a lot of minerals to trade, I guess. Okay, that's fine though. Let's try to get some credits out of it. I mean, I'll take it. I'm starved for resources. Okay. I wonder if I shouldn't shouldn't just start sending um, <clears throat> sending someone to them. I guess if they go below fifty. I guess if they go below 50, we're gonna have a good time. These are xenophiles, so trading with them might be possible. That's 36. I don't have any free embassies, but on the other hand, what does it really matter? Building another cruiser here. I wonder how fast the solar panel network is. I'm gonna go ahead and queue two corvettes up. And actually, well, Macrotosh might go down, but we could also try to build another corvette in there, or even a destroyer. Well, this destroyer might be too much investment, but queuing up another corvette might not be bad. Come on, guys, don't pull the fight away from our spaceport. Okay, so they are fighting each other. We're not looking too good here. I definitely will try to send in my cruiser as soon as it's done. Even one little ship can make the difference here. What do we do? Oh, wormhole generation. And wormhole range by 50%. That's great. That's great. So what can we do? Improved deflectors, better reactors, subspace sensors. It's all not blowing me away. I would have liked something more research oriented. But oh well. Hmm, yeah, let's go with the better deflectors. Why not? But I don't think we need our genius for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our physics leading genius down there to get to the cruiser assembly yards. And put our particles guy up here in physics again so that we get more weapons. I think I switched them at some point. It might be good to do it like that. Uh, we've got another another fleet in Carnegie. Gonna send them in here as well. And as soon as that cruiser is done, we're gonna put Dagon on it and we're gonna send it in here so that it can arrive with the utmost speed. Uh, we had some trade deals go through. Not using planetary buildings that we've built. We're losing some money, but not a lot. Not a lot. We're not losing as much as I would have expected. Schlurg is nearly done with our new um, colony ship for down here. So that's definitely good. Come on, guys. I know you can do it. I know you can. 
Um, our ship and rely is going to be done in a moment. Two, one, and it's done. Okay. Now, where are you? Down here. Third Nautilus. You're going to get Dagon because he's a fast guy. And we're going to send them into this battle. How's it looking? How's it looking in here? Well, yeah. It's not too horrible. It's not too horrible. We do have the spaceport that is doing quite a bit. Could actually win this. Uh, we've got another Corvette that is joining the fray. Come on, leave my spaceport standing. Our ships are now getting repaired because they are near the spaceport. Might be able to swing this. Might be able to do it. We have a couple of couple of smaller fights here. They're down to five corvettes. Five corvettes. That's not a lot. Uh, where are you? Situation log updated. Did we? Yeah, we won. We won. Looks like they. Looks like they. They left. They left. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay then, guys, you're gonna merge. I'm definitely need a Shoggoth um, to build a military station around here. Have I an upgraded military station design? Is the question. Um, I do think that that is quite good. I could go for a hangar station. That might also be something that would allow this thing to punch above its weight, but I guess it's fine. And the shield inhibitor is also good. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and queue one up at Magritosh. It's It's costly, but I guess we'll get over it. Oh, and our colony ship is done as well, so let's use the colony ship to colonize to Sonia over here. Uh, we're gonna put you, I guess, over here. It gives adjacency bonuses to all tiles. We're gonna lose the energy credits, but it should still be fine. So that's done. They're entering orbit of X Athrak, so they're moving to their home system. Can understand that they want to run, and they want to they want to leave. Let's start pumping out a couple destroyers here. One, two. We have to we have to get our fleet up again. We need our fleet up and running. Building two corvettes. Building two corvettes. Gonna add another one to each of these guys. And then we're building another cruiser in Rulae. And by the time this is finished, we think I think we can queue up another cruiser. Now the Nautilus Squadron is trying to catch these guys. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. Because it's it's difficult. Where are you? You're in serious now. Well, forget about it then. Dagon. No, no, I don't want to permanently dismiss you. I just want to get rid of you. Where's that? Where can I? Where can I take you off? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think there is something. And you are you are you out again? No. We shouldn't. We should we should um, combine our fleets because it looks like the enemy is coming in here with their second navy cluster. Merging with the first. Okay, so that's not too bad. Still though. Gotta be careful. Gotta be very careful here. So you're around the Orbit of Kanegi. I'm gonna leave you there. We're gonna merge our fleets later. Although one more Corvette might make all the difference, actually. So 
We're gonna bring you in here. Golotheth should now be able to jump over this with ease. So let's come over here and have a look at that debris. Right? That's gonna that's gonna give you uh, it's gonna give us a chance to to close that tech gap that existed. I'm gonna merge these two fleets. Which fleet is gonna survive? Debris analyzed. I want merge. All right, but I don't want Dagon. I want Yoxothoth. Oh, the other guy moved to Rulai now and is available in a couple of days. That's bad. Hmm. Well, do do get repaired at least. Do get repaired. We managed to beat them back, and we I think we hurt them quite a bit, which makes me really happy. And we analyzed some debris. What did we get? Ripper cannons, improved deflectors, anti-matter power, physics research, engineering research. Cool. We're getting we're getting better power. That's hugely valuable. Guess that's in here. Yeah. If we can get that, we're gonna plainly jump over that one. Cold fusion reactor. I think that's worth eighty. That's give that gives a hundred. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump over one tech if we can, uh, let's say, produce enough debris. <laughs> and we're we're done with physics. Why? No, what is that? I don't understand. Oh, because I didn't choose a, uh, anything, I guess. Well, let's let's go with the deflectors colony anyway. Established. Got another colony. Which one is it? Tessonia? No, I don't think so. No, the colony ship is just moving in. So it must be that place. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's manage that sector. Do we have... No, we, we don't even have a sector down here. It is that place. It's Codria. Okay, then let's create a new sector. Um, I can't add these. I hope I can add them later because there's nothing between them and I would like these th things, these three spots to be a uh, sector on its own. So we're gonna call this sector um, our western border. Yes, I know fairly well. Uh, I, know, I know full well that there are no <clears throat> no such things in space than uh, west or east or something, but it's still useful for orientation. Southern border, east, uh, western border, eastern border. That's all fine. I'm really amazed that we managed to do it, but it, it all came down to having the spaceport to help us, I think, and being there fast enough that we could actually swing it. Okay. Can you jump to Sirius directly? No, not quite. But you're close. So you're jumping over there and then you're using the one more generator in series to get there. One more tech upgrade and we'll be able to jump. Um, to make that in one jump. That's fine though. That's completely fine. So, got another ship here. So let's, yeah, let's take out the Shogos and the science ship. But let's merge the military fleets. I wonder, are there, are there other guys that would would be willing to trade with me? You're unfriendly. You're my rival, I guess. Or well, at least unfriendly. These guys are my rival. We already traded. They don't like me at all. We're already trading, I guess. Yeah, to 62. Really like them. They make interesting bird sounds and also look very funny. <laughs> and these guys... Yeah, you're, you're neutral now. He, he looks a bit ass-facey. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's because they're xenophiles. I guess they're willing to trade with empires. Oh, it was it was the fifty um, that I 
I guess 50 is the threshold. So we're gonna trade away our minerals here, uh, our research for minerals. Yeah, 701 seems to be about the worth for our research here. So let's do that. That gives us another couple cruisers. You're unfriendly with no way of getting to neutral. These guys could actually be made neutral, I guess. Maybe. We might talk to them in a couple of years. They get two. They should get down to 50. Minus 10 is 51. Yeah. So in a couple of years, we're going to talk with them again. And then we can sell our research to them too. Now, it all depends on us being able to build up our fleet faster than our neighbors. And we also need some armies. So I guess I might go ahead and... Yeah, Wings of Cthulhu is fully repaired now. That's good. Let's send that corvette over there. What about Ophili? You're still building your solar panel network. That is fine. Down here with corvettes. Let's build a couple more. And Magrotosh, you're gonna build another destroyer. What a rely. We're gonna queue up another cruiser. Hostile fleet detected. Okay, so now they where are they where are they going? Entering orbit of Relay. Okay, that's not good. That's not good, but we can definitely deal with it. And we're gonna take York Sothoth. I have the feeling that these admirals are bugged. York Sothoth should be in command of this thing. Right, so in orbit around Magrotosh. Busy commanding CTH Ugesh. And now he's he's available again. So I could take Dagon. And I'm gonna take Sothoth. Oh yeah, so that is our cruiser, that's our flagship. Okay. So now we're taking Dagon. I guess we're gonna take Oh interesting. So we have a ten day thing now for changing leaders. That's interesting. No, okay. So yeah, we're gonna take Yos Yok Sothoth. And we'll move to Relay. And then we're gonna fight these guys um, together with our station and our spaceport. We should be able to to kill them off completely. And then we are in the offensive. Um, which means we're gonna go after their systems. We're gonna leave their home system for last, but we're gonna go into the others and try to take out spaceports and stuff. And try to blockade them and invade them and generally make their life miserable. We want to take Rothia, Vivalian and their home system. So that one, that one and that one. So they'd be reduced to that system down here. Which is fine, but I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. Although, why wouldn't you like this episode? I really, really did well here, I think. Um, and if you wanna see more of this series, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you, hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.